So Hut Rush has essentially become the best way for no money spent players to actually get good immediate rewards that can help improve your team. The only issue is they didn't fix the mode at all. So a ton of players have been having an issue with A, some of the rewards in packs not working, like the headliner collectible, when you go to open it, it literally just airs out. On top of that, a ton of the player base is having a hard time with not getting recognition for pulling off the moves that are required for the objectives, like how to do the Michigan or the loose puck deeks. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly what to do for all of the annoyances and issues that are currently going on in Hut Rush. Let's get into it. So I do want to touch on the rewards real quick and why I think that for no money spent players, it's a huge advantage. It's simply because of the ability to get free power-up collectibles at the end of the reward tiers. And as you can see, I haven't even finished off these tiers yet. I finished the objectives, and I ended up with about 4.2 million points, and I've been slowly grinding. You've got four days left in this season. And again, if you're no money spent, two power-up collectibles is huge because you can use those to rent master set players. And I talk about that in my headliners event video if you want to go take a look at that. Also, the mega pack is huge for no money spent players because it offers so many cards that you can use towards team builders, icons x factors all of that so it is definitely worth grinding the one-off cards that you get throughout early on they actually add up you end up with 17 so that's like essentially half an icon those can really help you out okay let's touch on this real quick as you can see i have completed all of the objectives in stars of the world as well as the hot headliners rush week one and i just want to first tackle how to do this first this is how you want to start off your hot rush run you want to play on cpu and play on rookie to get all of these objectives done you want to do that until you have both of these game modes all of their objectives complete do not do anything else but cpu on rookie some people can say some people say that play on semi-pro you'll earn a bit more points whatever whatever's easiest for you to just get the objectives done the points that you earn in game on top of it are negligible we'll worry about that once all these objectives are done so let's start first with marie philippe poulin and the hut headliners rush week one you've got score goals take one-timer shots score goals with the center Perform loose puck deeks and make stick lift checks. So let me show you how to do that. Now, the score goals with a center or score goals in general is very simple. You just want to hold on to the puck with Marie-Philippe Poulin. And the goaltenders in putt rush, at least in this mode, are very, very easy to beat in tight. And especially because it's three on three. So all you've got to do is get close to the goaltender and go forehand, backhand. And it's extremely easy to do. Now, stick lifts for this specific mode, since there's really no penalties, you can just spam X or A whenever you get in tight against an opponent and eventually you'll be able to get the four stick checks again this one's pretty simple just spam x or a when you're real close to the player and you'll get those stick checks done next up let's talk about one timer shots this one's pretty self-explanatory however when you're cycling around the ai will actually sit pretty tight on your player if you're trying to set up a one timer so what you want to do is just try and take forehand one-timers because those count and they're far easier to set up you don't have to score so you just need to take shots towards the net and on the forehand it just seems to be the easiest way to do it and lastly we've got the loose puck deeks this has been the one that a lot of people have struggled on because they don't know how to do it it's very simple all you've got to do is tap l1 while holding on to the puck you don't have to make any motions with your six just tapping l1 near a player the best way to do this is just cycle around the net with marie philippe poulin and just continue tapping L1, and eventually you'll just start getting the loose puck deeks. Now, the reason why you want to get all the objectives done is just simply because they are worth so many points. When you are finished, both the Hut Headliners Rush Week 1 and Stars of the World in the reward tiers, you'll have about 4 million points, which again will get you all of this all the way up to the 4 million mark. I think I was at like 4.1 4 million. So now that we're done, the Hut Headliners Rush, let's do Stars of the World because a lot of people are having some struggles with this one. To finish the Stars of the World objectives, you've got to make between the leg passes, score goals, perform spinorama deeks, perform toe drag deeks, and perform lacrosse deeks. That last one specifically is giving a ton of players problems because half of them aren't registering when you actually play the game. So thank you for the new reward path in Hut Rush. I actually do enjoy it quite a lot, but please fix the mode. Now, the biggest issue among all of these objectives is the four lacrosse deeks. One, because this Hut Rush arena is so small that behind the net you can barely fit your player. But two, even when you score a Michigan, it does not count. So, full transparency, I took about... 50 lacrosse deke shots, and after watching how I played moments, you guys know that I got pretty half decent at it in terms of timing and everything like that with total controls, and you're just pressing the button. However, I did it about 50 times, and it finally just gave me four throughout. So a lot of this is just going to be keep trying. Eventually, you will get one. But some things I did notice. One, it looks like you just have to hit the goalie. 
Like the puck has to go into the goalie's chest to make it count, which is super weird. And another one is doing it on the forehand seems to work quite a bit more as well. The other one I noticed as well is if you hold down the lacrosse move D, so just by holding down Y for like three seconds and then doing it, I've seen that work as well. Next up is between the leg passes. Again, you want to be in total controls for this. And like I mentioned earlier in the video on rookie, all you've got to do is hold down circle or B on your controller. And once your player goes between the legs, tap R2. It's a little awkward at the beginning, but then you'll get the hang of it. A player has to be somewhat in the area and it does look like it can't just be completely the wrong direction. But again, this is one where if you just keep doing it, you will get the objective done. On to the toe drags. And this is going to be pretty tough for the players that are slowly getting adjusted to total controls. Because you're going to have to do the old toe drag animation. That's what I did. Essentially, I went with a left-handed player at 9 o'clock, dragged it all the way down to 3 o'clock, and then do it the other way. And you will get a backhand and a forehand toe drag, and they will both count. And essentially, all I did was go up and down the ice doing that move. I know a lot of players are going to struggle with this if they're on total control simply because they press too hard on the stick and you'll get the reverse check. But just be soft on the sticks and you should be able to get this one done. Again, I would just do the forehand and then right into the backhand. And then the last one that's causing some issues is the spinorama. All you've got to do for this one is press L2 or left trigger and just be near an opponent. And again, just like the toe drags, you can essentially spam it up and down the ice and eventually you'll complete this one. Now let's talk about the bugs. So there is an issue with the hut headliner player item. This will be for one of the five random non-master set player event items. So Giordano, Kessel, Saro, Sovechkin, and Rasmus. Is Darlene. However, right now, a lot of players are opening this pack and getting Ovechkin, and then it turns into Giordano in your collection. I have no idea what's going on with this. I have no idea how they're going to fix it. However, I do know that it has been reported, and they are looking into it. So if you have this Hut Headliner Player Item Week 1 pack, just sit on it, because right now it's broken. The next fun thing that you're going to experience, and I apologize for all my fellow Hut players that have OCD, but when you complete the Hut Moments and you start grinding through this, there's something wrong with Hut Moments, and it is giving you a notification saying you have an objective. However, the issue is... There's no objective that is causing it. So while it does say you have one, you just got to ignore it until EA fixes it. I don't know how they're going to. It's super annoying, but hey, that's Hut Rush. So what do you do once you have finished the 4 million points from all of the objectives? Because the last best rewards all come after the 4 million mark. And because there is no changes to the actual Hut Rush mode, 2 million is a brutal grind. Here is the best way that I've found to farm points in Hut Rush. Go over to the stars of the world Hut Rush mode and you want to put it on Superstar. Again, you are going to need to be on total controls for this. All you do is spam X for hip checks. You do not need to actually line up and get a full clean hip check. You just need to get near your opponent and spam X every single time that you make contact for even a slight second while you're pressing X, you will get 200 points. If you get your AI kind of trapped in a corner, you can just keep spamming it. They don't even need the puck. I do want to reiterate that the reward path that they added in for Hot Rush is pretty fantastic. I just question that throwing more rewards on a mode that no one wants to play is a little rough. We need to see some ingenuity here out of how you make Hut Rush a little bit more fun, or else you're just going to have people that don't want to be doing it, and you're just spamming hit checks the whole time. There are so many animations and points that don't work in the mode that just playing simply isn't even fun because half the time that you pull something off, it doesn't register. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. If this did help, please consider subscribing. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.